Guys, the way she just picked Zachariah. Single, so you're done. Therefore, have been dumped from the island. Please pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> sorry, guys, I just got to Paris. I am not naked, I promise you. She really thought she was going to the final. But she's going to Luton Airport. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> this is what this is what I'm talking about. We need such a twist that even we don't expect it. We need such a twist that that predictability of it being the 10th season, it's eliminated completely. Nobody, I didn't expect it. The way I was like, Molly's dumped, Molly's dumped. I was just joking. I was like, okay, well, she's dumped, whatever. Like, that's what I want. For it then it to happen for her to say it as I said it. I don't understand. What sorcery was that? Maybe it was me who decided to make her. The way I said it and then it just... <sighs> also, before we do get into this, I just want to shout out to Flexi Spot. They are officially sponsoring this review. Go and check them out. The details are on the link below. And I will show you right now what Flexi Spot sent me and how much I love them for it because I really. Hey know guys, it. today's Love Island review is sponsored by Flexi Spot. They are so kind enough for sending me the E7 standing desk that can obviously alternate in height. Guys, look how cool this is. It can go down and it can go right back up guys it was very easy to set up as well it's got a usb slot as well easily what i can do is put a treadmill underneath so i can walk get my cardio and get my work done as well 32 percent off the links are also attached big shout out to flexi spot for sending me their desk i've always wanted one and now i have one so go check them out and if you ever need an alternating desk like this then definitely go click the link in the bio below. Discount is for the month of June and June is nearly ending guys. So what are you guys waiting for? Check them out, sponsored by FlexiSport. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content injected. Click that button and subscribe. I'm coming to you from Paris. I literally just got landed here um, from my train and got into the hotel like half an hour before. And I was watching it on the train and watching it here. And, you know, we've got a lot to discuss and talk about. But for the fact that Molly Marsh has been dumped has absolutely shocked everyone. It shocked the gasp. The, the silence in that villa, that is what we need. That is the theatrics that we need as people when it comes to watching reality TV like this. Because what the hell was that about? Now single, so you're dumped. therefore have been dumped. dumped from the island. Please pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I don't think she even expected herself to be dumped as well. And I did not expect that. It really goes to show you the power of an OG coming in and, you know, what they want to do with an OG of, you know, season two, KD coming in and etc. She was close to picking um, um, Tyreek, so then Ella would have been dumped. So it's I, I, I thought that she was going that way. So when she picked Zachariah, I immediately got the phone up thinking, oh my God, like, what the hell is this? That, you know, that's crazy. What's going to happen? But I didn't expect her to be dumped. Is she dumped? Will she return during Casa Amor? Is she going to be put into a different room? We don't know at this point because there's so many twists with the season, but they are absolutely delivering. And that is one thing about it because that is what I want to see. I want that shock factor. It's like, what is Love Island Winter? Did that even happen at this point? It seems like it's just, a, it, 
I, I, I don't know, was that just a memory that we all just had? Because I think this is what, where it is. This is what's happened. She didn't expect this in any capacity. She was the plant. And they said, Abeg, now that we have our new plants that we've allowed to come into, you can now go. We can now rip you out as the weed that you were and take you out. I also feel like because Molly and Zach were not favoured, they were not favoured by a lot of people. They were not favoured by the public. Nobody liked them in the public. People weren't really shipping them or standing them. I think the producers caught on to this and were like, well, you know, Molly and Zach are not really going anywhere as a couple um, in terms of they're not going to break up anytime soon. Therefore, the public are not going to begin to warm to them. So let's just dump her and get it out of the way. Because she really had potential to go to the finale because, you know, of course, the plant and everything. And I think that a lot of papers and articles picking up on that as well. I think it all bothered the producers and they were like, listen, if this is the plant, this is what we're going to do to her. It's giving Jess being dumped season three. That's what it's giving to me. If you are a veteran Love Island viewer, that is what it's reminding me of. That was the last time that I was shocked that somebody who was giving main character was dumped so early on in the competition. Jess being dumped like that, that's what had happened. And then Dom, what's going to happen with him? Is he, you know, he cried and then he obviously, he left himself and then they got back together again. So is Zachariah going to do the same thing because Jess and Dom are still together. So that's what it's giving me right now. The shock dumping where I didn't expect Jess to be dumped. I did not expect Molly Marsh to be dumped in any capacity. It was a wow factor that she went, child. Like, wow, I can't believe it. That is what he called TV. Catherine jumping out of a seat. The gasp, the silence. The theatrics, everything about it was, even Katie saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like she was quick with it because she didn't expect it. That is what you call Love Island. That is what you call reality TV. That is what you call TV. It is beautiful. This season is doing fantastic, fantastic. For those people who are not watching it because they've known they're tired about it. I'm sorry for you guys because you are missing out on one hell of a ride, especially when it comes to the season, especially when it comes to the reviews, child. Not me giving you the shock factor review, topless, in a hotel in Paris because I just landed here for Paris Fashion Week. Like, what in the hell, guys? What in the hell? It, it don't make no sense. Like, it's just so... This is just so random. I can't believe it. Montel saying, Catherine, who, you need to relax yourself and be humble. You need to relax yourself and be humble because there was no need for that slick comment. It was very unnecessary. It was given childish to showing your age. I didn't like it um, in any capacity and it just simply just was not needed. So I don't know why you were saying stuff like that and it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm glad that Whitney, Ella and Catherine are still here. The trio, they are, they are the trio. Do you understand? They are the trio and I'm absolutely here for it. They are the Powerpuff Girls. Um, Whitney's the main one, the red one, Catherine's the yellow one, and then Ella's the green one. That's just the way I see it, child. They are the Powerpuff Girls, those three. And I'm glad that their friendship is there. The way Catherine has survived, the way Catherine has survived 40 days and 40 nights in this villa, the way this girl is doing gymnastics to survive in this villa, the way it's just, it's fantastic. The way that she's been given all of these lives to continue to survive despite people who are playing at XYZ. And I'm here, I'm glad, I'm, I don't know about Scott, my mind is still iffy, but you know, when it comes to that, only time will tell. But I'm just, child, <sighs> sorry, I need to take a break because I didn't expect her to be dumped like that. Like that is crazy. Like a main character gone like that, who the producers like, they're like, sorry, babes. Your mom's famous in that, but she ain't no Michael Owen. Do you understand? That's not that your your mom is not on the level of Michael Owen. Therefore, it ain't gonna work like that. So I'm bamboozled. I'm hoodwinked. I'm shocked that Molly Marsh is gone, but I'm content. Because not only was it a good reality TV, but I wanted her to go. I didn't find her entertaining. I just felt like she I said that yesterday, she reminded Molly May. I feel like she just mimics her in some kind of way. I feel like she has been on the show before in terms of, you know, as an influencer running around the villa. I feel like she's been with some of the islanders before, spoken about them before. And when you have all of those sentiments, it's like, who are you? What are you as a person? Because you're trying to emulate other influencers, content creators. So many of these uh, girls, especially the blonde girls, they really want to be Molly Mae. It's like, no, just be yourself because it's like, it's not going to work. So I never really was able to invest and connect to her as a character on the show. I never really got to know about Molly Marsh. I felt like it was very surface level. It was very, you know, influency, theatric kind of vibes. Not theatric, sorry, but influency kind of vibes. And, you know, it's just certain um, mannerisms. That's the key word. I just never really, you know, I just felt like her personality is not distinguishable. There we go. And therefore, I wasn't as invested in her. And I just felt like her and Zach didn't make sense to me as a couple for some reason. And although they must have liked each other, Zach's U-turn to me was quite 
interesting considering that he listed three girls in his top three and went the complete other way. So it's giving, I'm going to try to pair up with Molly because she's going to be in there for longest. Therefore, I'm going to try to be with her as well um, to try to ride that wave. That's what it's giving. And I believe it might give that because this is the 10th season. The girls and boys know what to do to prolong their time in the, in, in the show. Be with the right people, with the right attributes um, and the right narratives and storylines that they could be getting. So I don't know. Possibly, possibly not. Possibly, guys. Possibly not. I'm glad that Whitney's still here. I'm glad that Ella's still here. I know that Tyreek wanted to get to know um, Katie. Ella needs to just dip, man, from this relationship. This guy's going to keep doing this. If he's doing this now in the villa before Casa Amor, what is he going to do in clubs, child, when all the attention's on him in the first two months of him coming out of the villa? What is he going to do then? He's going to do a lot more. A lot more. So I feel like it is unnecessary for... Ella to be with this man. She doesn't need to be. Go find somebody in Casamor and bring them back because it doesn't make any sense because he was very quick to entertain Katie and be pressed on her and etc. Katie picking Zachariah. I didn't expect that. I felt like she just wanted to pick him maybe because she likes that type. I don't know. Maybe it was a whisper in the air from a producer or handling. It could be anything at this point because I genuinely thought she was going to pick Tyree. But I'm so glad she did not pick Tyree because if she had done that, Ella would have gone home. I'm absolutely shocked by that episode. Like, I'm late to meet friends now because I'm like, friends, sorry. I know people want me to get this review out. I'm already seeing the messages in the comments saying, you know, where where's the review we're waiting? So me, I have to just obviously prioritize you guys and get this review out. This is what I miss about doing Love Island. And I feel like I haven't been here for a while um, where you just, no matter where I'm traveling in the world, I have to stop and not only watch the show, but do a review because I genuinely enjoy the episode. It's funny to watch. It's entertaining. It's good moments. Guys, we are living in, dare I say it, a, a, a great Love Island season. That's what we are currently living in right now. Good reality TV. Good reality TV. It's like that spark has been re-sparked, re-jigged, guys. Whew. Well, Molly Marsh can go back to the Marshes, child, because I'm actually, I can't believe she's, I just, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Let me know thoughts on when it comes to this, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Also, was it not Catherine's birthday? So I don't know why we didn't even see any of that. Her jumping out of the chair was given the was given exactly what I needed. Not this girl jumping off as if that was hilarious to me. Like, there's already so many good moments. This season is... Well, well, I can't. I know people, somebody said, oh, you know, why do you always rank seasons? I don't know. But we're on the 10th season by now. Probably why. There's a lot to, to, there's a lot more to compare to now. But let's wait till Casa Amor. After Casa Amor, then we can have a proper discussion of rankings. Because I know some of you guys have also want me to rank. So let's just, you know, wait. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. I'm late. So late to me, my friends. I've got to edit this now as well. Filming this on my phone. So it might be a slight sound issue because my camera, the light, is it, it, it's, it's very low now. But um, I'll catch you guys soon for another review.